which is better, Power BI or QuickSight? So let's begin. Okay, so Power BI is developed by Microsoft and it offers robust capabilities in data visualization, reporting, and analytics. It integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft products like Excel, Office 365, and it's known for extensive range of data connectors, allowing easy integration with various data sources. Now, Power BI is one of the most powerful uh, features is that it provides advanced data visualization, interactive dashboards, and AI-powered analytics. It also offers a wide array of data connectors, comprehensive reporting tools, and the ability to handle large data sets effectively. Its desktop and cloud-based versions provide flexibility for most users. Now, in terms of scalability, Power BI is suitable for both small businesses and large enterprises, offering scalability to grow alongside your business needs. Now, we move over to QuickSight. So, this is basically an Amazon's BI tool designed for AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. It's known for its easy integration with AWS services and database. QuickSight's pay per session pricing model can be attractive for those with variable usage. Now, in terms of features, QuickSight provides easy data visualization and analysis. It has integration capabilities with various AWS services, making it suitable for businesses heavy reliant on Amazon's ecosystem. Also, QuickSight offers features like ML-powered anomaly detection and integration with AWS data services like Redshift, S3, and more. Now, in terms of ease of use, QuickSight offers a user-friendly interface and is relatively straightforward to set up and use, particularly for businesses already utilizing AWS services. Now, if you ask me, since I am both a fan of these uh, platforms, I'm using QuickSight and Power BI, you need to choose between the ecosystem, all right? If your business heavily uses AWS services, QuickSight's integration with the AWS ecosystem, of course, is the most practical way for you to choose. It could be advantageous in a lot of reasons, all right? Now, on the other hand, if your business operates primarily within the Microsoft ecosystem such as, you know, Office 365, Power BI might integrate more seamlessly with your existing tools. But of course, you have to consider the cost structure, the pricing models of both tools as they differ because Power BI might have traditional subscription cost-based pricing while Amazon's uh, quick sites paper session model can be advantageous for some users, all right? Now, in terms of uh, quick ease of use, I believe Power BI may offer advanced features and customization options, which might require more expertise, but can be powerful. But in, but uh, quick sites is known for its simplicity, right? And again, ultimately, the choice between Power BI and quick sight depends on factors such as your existing technology and integration needs, desired features, ease of use, and cost considerations. It can be beneficial to try out demos or free versions of both tools to evaluate which aligns better with your business requirements and team capabilities. But in my opinion, what you need to do is go to their respective websites to check the uh, prices, features, and limitations for you to explore. All right, so I'm here at Microsoft. Check the uh, Power BI um, demo and features. Also here at Amazon, you can quickly check the uh, pricing solutions products documentation here in AWS Amazon QuickSight. You can also contact the live chat support agent for them to give you more details about these products for both platforms. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in our next video.